I'm here to change the game, a better man today. You take my freedom, yeah! Look at this, you guys. A whole lot of brand new WWE action figures, ultimates, Supremes. Wait, are we getting Supremes? No, we got Elites and we got... Uh, we need to get all these out of the box right now. Dom Dom, what do you think, bro? Oh, yeah. Holy crap, did we get the mother load of the mother loads. We got a whole lot of brand new WWE figures, Ultimate Editions, the brand new Elite Series, as well as you guys know, discount code HERO saves you 10% at WrestlingFigures.com. And that's right, buddy boy. If you guys want to pick any of these up, check this out. Rollins, he's coming in here backwards. He's like, no, what are you doing, bro? Why aren't we not looking at this yesterday? We're looking at it today, you guys. That's all that matters. And Seth Rollins, the visionary, the man that stepped in at WrestleMania. Check this out. Full series. We got Dominic, Shinsuke Nakamura, Damian Priest, Bailey, and the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. And the brand new WWE Championship title. Oh my gosh. That's a mouthful in its own right. Yes, we're going to crack this open and we're definitely going to open up every single figure. Hey, 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 hey. let's go because Sami Zayn has officially received his brand new Ultimate Edition. Check this out. The look you make when you got wrestling hero figs jumping in, landing in, and letting you know that six foot one of its monstrosity is going to be unveiled right here in this video. This is so freaking cool, man. Love the packaging. Matter of fact, not only is this one getting updates, but right here, Cody Rhodes, the new champ oh my gosh you guys i cannot wait to get this out it's gonna happen all in this video so you make sure that you stay tuned to the end of the video because otherwise you're not gonna get the message man check this out bottom of the box we got the upc code if you guys want to find that yeah good luck <laughs> this is sold out on back order and i'm gonna tell you that cody rose he's gonna make your figgy american dream nightmare possible six foot two from atlanta georgia man look at that brand new jacket i feel like this jacket it's gonna do so much more versus what we did get oh and look at that a new torso i'm telling you once we get this out of the box it's gonna make all the sense why not only are we getting him in the supreme but whf it's ultimate edition and also in the elite yes siri go ahead and smirk for them because i'm going to tell you that this moment right now the american nightmare you got two options bro you can either a have a nice little promo do the build up right because road to wrestlemania that's what it was they built it up he got on that mic and then he was dropping all that love right there oh yeah we got Dominic in here. I know we got Dom Dom. I know we got Kevin Owens. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at this. We got KO Mania also being introduced in the Ultimate Edition. We're going to go ahead and take the shirt off. We're going to get the belts out. We're going to get all these interchangeable hands out to determine of whether Kevin Owens is going to rank high in this series or... Is the man going to rank Lolo? Well, I'm going to tell you, I can highly doubt that that's going to be the case. And that's why we're going to get these out of the box, man. That's the only way that... Uh, hey, hey, hey. WHF, Sammy's over there. We got Nakamura. Du -na 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 -na. We got Shinsuke Nakamura in the brand new... What series is this, you guys? I'm always calling it, I feel like, by the wrong number. And then eventually, 109. To confirm right there... <laughs> Look, Shinsuke Nakamura, once you get kinshasa so many damn times, I can guarantee you, keeping track of all these freaking figures, look at this, they're just stacking on stacking McLacken, and then Bailey brought right here also. I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna call Series 109, you guys? I'm gonna call Bailey as pretty much the championship set, right? Think about this. Cody Rhodes, new champion. Bailey, new champion. Damian Priest, 
new champion. Nakamura, good luck. <laughs> the look you make when Seth Rollins has just been dominating the complete roster for so many years. He's going on a little break ski, though, because right here, Dominic Mysterio, he's going to reflect what the certified G is going to be brought in this. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Look at that bandana. This is a thing of beauty. All the cloth goods. Dude, this thing is going to look insane. Putting this up alongside the Judgment Day. This is going to be insane, bro. I genuinely cannot wait to get these cracked open. And then right here, we cannot say Judgment Day unless if Damian Priest is being brought in here. I feel like this man was the man. He was the lad that said, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to unbox every single damn figure in this stack. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Damian Priest knows a little bit too much. And one thing that we're going to find out right now is that if Bailey's going to do it, Nakamura, you damn well know we're going to get a KO powerbomb. Right here, Cody. Oh my gosh, you guys. And then this one, without a shadow of a doubt. You know what? Let's get these cracked open. Let's do it, Cody. Oh yeah. Here we have all the figures out of the packaging. And I got to tell you, these series, both of them, they are going to knock these figures, at least for 2024, out of the park especially this Cody Rhodes. This figure, the more and more I play around with it, the more and more I realize that this is going to sit very, very high as far as ranking, literally out of all these. I mean, yes, there might be one, there might be another, but right now, the only thing I can tell you is that, holy crap, did Mattel freaking nailed it with this jacket. I mean, there are a little minor imperfections, but at the end of the day, this is so much better. Now, when we did get right there with the Mattel Creations, which, by the way, I actually do have the, uh, uh, what is it, the very first Ultimate Edition release on this. So, I do want to compare these on how they look one by side next to the other, especially when the jacket comes up. Because I can tell you that there is so much more going on with this figure versus what we got with that last release. Look at this, man. There is detail literally on top of detail. I really like how they did these shoulder pads. The right one on mine, though, not sure if you guys are picking up, but I'm going to have to heat this up a little bit because it's starting to tuck right underneath the shoulder peg. So you definitely got to work it a little bit. The fitment, as far as like the tightness on this, this jacket, it is very, very firm. There is definitely a lot of good stuff going for it without a shadow of a doubt. The biggest drawback, though, that I got to point out right now is the actual color finish that they ended up choosing with the bottom because technically it is supposed to match the tight design. Instead, they went with a solid black, which, again, it is an easy fix-up, but do you really... Want to spend this much money on a figure and go in there with a paintbrush and do it up all over? I'm telling you, bro. It's all if you're an artist, then it's all on whether or not you guys want to see what exactly is underneath this jacket. Now, you do want to do it right here by the two buttons. Once you do the top, once you do the bit middle, you can go ahead and see that torso. Look at that. That torso, how in the crap did Mattel think that this is something they could have gotten away with? This is kind of almost based off like... Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin style. There is a slight difference. And this one right here is just miles and miles ahead of what they brought right there with that figure. And I do want to try some custom fix-ups. So turn on that notification bell if you guys don't want to miss any of the action that's going to be dropping in here with the figure. I do want to cover some additional accessories because in its own right, the jacket technically is an accessory. But you will also get the actual waist belt right here. With it all, we got Cody coming across, and it is a new mold, but I can sure tell you that something about what they ended up doing right here with this little tiny peg, bro, they just, I don't know, man. I feel like they could have taken something completely different. Jazzwares has done so much better with that belt. And the other thing, too, is trying to get it on the damn figure. You'll probably be in there at least 15 minutes. I, I <laughs> And then apart from that, like, it's to have it to stay on the figure itself. Like, it looks great. Like, what's inside when it's, like, in the packaging and everything. The belt right there in the corner. But why the hell didn't they put it on the figure? I'll tell you why. Because they couldn't get it to fit. <laughs> All right. So, interchanging arms. You are going to get two different. So the ones that I had on the figure, it was the full open right there on the hands. And then the ones that you can swap out, you will get the actual mic open. There was no closed fist, which I don't know, you guys. I feel like this figure would definitely benefit from that. Now, I'm pretty sure that the jacket probably took away a lot of it. But yes, once you have the actual arm pegs in there, look at this. This is nice, bro. And this is the biggest question that I wanted to ask Mattel in this process is like, how is it that with the actual in-ring gear, we get the pinless design 
on the elbow pads, but then the actual jacket piece, look at this. I feel like we're way too far in the game to even be talking about this. So that is a big disappointment, and I mean, that is nitpicking it, but when you have this figure on the shelf, it's going to be those little things that are going to stand out to you. The interchanging uh, head scan that you can throw in there, you're going to get a serious face look, or you got the screaming one, which it is almost very based off that very first one. There is a no, yeah, there's actually no brand new sculpt. The one that's going to be released here in the near future, the Elite, that one will be introducing a new scan with it all. And it is right, bro. I feel like Cody, we've gotten quite a bit. So if you're going to give us multiple Cody's, at least give us a couple of different looks. There's the tattoo right there on the neck. There's the chest hair, which I feel like it's more pronounced because if you do look at the other one, it's got a little bit like a shade fade going on. This one, it's got more of a darker tint and you also do get that signature dream logo because you know what? It ain't no damn dream, bro. You know what it is? It is officially a nightmare. That's right. Cody Rhodes told you. And you know who followed up right there? Right here. Seth Rollins. This torso, we've seen it. This is actually based off Rollins. Also, I do believe that Rick Rude, that uh, was it the Metal Creations, also was the first one to actually introduce the smaller frame on that torso. Now, the tights, I like the blue. I do think that the blue, though, it's got a different actual tint versus what we did see. But at the end of the day, at least the figure itself has blue. This, I don't know what the hell this is. <laughs> so, again, drawbacks, but there is still so much good going for this. I do like the overall design, and there is not a lot of QC issues with mine. The boots, too, they are a slightly different size, too. I know it's going to be hard to pick up, but if you look at this one right here, the very first one, no, it's actually the same size, you guys. Oh, what is going on? They look slightly, maybe because it's the darker tint on the blue. That's what I'm going to have to say. Now, the knee pad, this one, we actually got the knee pads on. Technically, they go underneath the tights. So this right here, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a fan of that. I feel like having these decals right here underneath, that would have been so much better. And look at this, even underneath too. This is what I'm talking about. We're still on that damn pin. This should be pinless. We're too far in. I mean, as far as articulation, I guess these are the benefit. They're definitely more articulated. But at the end of the day, Cody Rhodes, dude, he's going to leave you asking with so many questions. I still got to rank this. A clean nine. I think an even nine on this figure is doing this man justice. Again, if it was upgraded with the jacket, as far as the actual color on that, if we didn't have the pinless, or if we actually had the pinless design on the jacket, he would have sat a little bit higher. Now, I'm going to hop back into the Ultimate Edition, but we got to check out Don Don, bro. Or I got one better for you. How about we get Seth Rollins? I want to see that new title and see how it measures up versus... Actually, no, we can't really measure it up. This is the first time that we are getting this belt. Interchanging hands, you are going to get a signature pose right there, and that is going to be the only other option apart from the actual mic open on the figure. Now, the belt, here it is. For those that have been patiently waiting for the official unveil of the first ever WWE Mattel release, and this one's a lot better, too, because I did see the one that was coming up here in the championship showdown. Uh, what was it? Yes, the last toy reveals. It had a darker tint. This one, it's got that high finish, bro, that nice gold finish with the Seth Rollins side plates on there, which, again, at the end of the day, technically, we got to change them now. We got Damian Priest, but again, once we actually look at the figure, that is going to be further answered within it all. And now the strap right there, it is being brought to the same way as really any other traditional. Scale-wise, too, I think it fits perfect. Like, if you end up putting it on the figure, you can do it up whichever way. I mean, Seth Rollins is a smaller scale. And this one, actually, it's going to work pretty good for even big superstars like Brock Lesnar. So putting it on there, look at that, you guys. That is a nice proportion. That is the correct circumference that you want to have right there around that strap. Man, and I love this. And I do got an Elite right here for a quick side-by-side -side comparison. I do like the fact that they actually finally did up right here the hair piece where you get the blonde tips. But I don't like the fact that they chose just a regular plain Jane. Don't want any cheese on my cheeseburger. Call in a number five because right here, this one was just so much better. Look at that. That expression, the screaming look again. Great stuff, but at the end of the day, they just played it safe right there. And mainly do, I'm going to say probably because of the belt, that's got to be the biggest thing when it boils down to it. Now, the tights, this, I don't know, you guys. Look, 
Correct me if I'm wrong, but when he did wear this, I mean, I, there was more gold. There was more of a finish, more of like this high gloss overall fitment on the figure. But at the end of the day, I mean, final production, it looks great. Like, I'm not seeing any issues right here with the QC. And one thing that I, <laughs> I got to call him out on this, look at this. So if you look at the knee pads, they do have that open design right there on the back end. But it's actually not open. It's just they, they didn't paint it. They just said, are we going to paint it? No, let's not paint it. We'll just give it like it's open. But what? <laughs> My gosh, bro. The belt, too. They just kind of went in there with a marker, a Sharpie, and painted the top. Which, you know, we've seen Seth Rollins figures with all this crotch piece actually, like, molded and tooled. So, again, I don't know the reason as to why. Now, the torso... It is based off the exact same torso. I'm going to show you the Elite comparison right there. There's the rest of the boots. Again, the continuation of it, you will get it up front, but it's going to be that solid gold finish on the backside. The torso choice, same. Great frame for the Elite. It works perfect. And as far as the Ultimate Edition, that one works pretty damn good. But I got to say that the main highlight from this, it's going to be the blonde tips and that damn belt. And I think that's going to end up doing this figure probably sitting pretty good now you will still get the actual back tattoo right there so for all those that were wondering i'm giving this man a nine five i'm so happy to finally have this damn belt now i hate to do this to you rollins even though it is you know what since you got the side plates i'm still gonna leave it on him because i do think that once we get the damian priest figure up here then we'll be able to get a closer look next up i want to take a look at hey, 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 sammy bro WrestleMania goes Hollywood on your Happy Meal ass because Sammy got a lot. And I'm going to show you. He definitely got a lot. So we got the two titles, which, again, we've seen quite a bit. I feel like the Usos, they are probably the most recent that actually showed the update on these. So pretty cool to see. I'm going to go ahead and cover this right now because Kevin Owens will carry the exact same belt. Nothing new with the KO belts either. So we're just going to have to put that to the side. But the highlight, bro. This scan right here on this figure, look at this. We got to pop this on. We got to see the hearty goodness that Sami Zayn brought right there with it all. And I'm going to tell you, Tama Tonga, this would actually be a great custom. WHF, what the crap are you talking about? Tama Tonga is not Caucasian. Now, if you guys go back to the actual, you know, New Japan days, he actually had a long beard and the similar style of hair. And then he had the face paint. So I guess once you go in here with the face paint, that would actually make a really good Tama Tonga. And if you saw it on the channel, you guys will know exactly what we're talking about. But face paint, again, it'll cover that car, 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 What are you talking about? Caucasian, man. <laughs> Tama Tonga, if you guys didn't see the debut on SmackDown the other night, oh my goodness, bro. Did he make an impact right there? Now, there is a debate right now in the mix, and we're not going to talk about that. But we are going to talk about how the one on the figure... I think this one's pretty good too i do like all three of them the biggest complaint that i'm gonna have to tell you right now it's not necessarily with sammy but it's gonna be more with kevin owens now this is not on an actual velcro piece so for all those that were wondering the only way you're gonna get all the action is to go ahead and pop stuff off now this crotch piece this is gonna work really good for customs man i'm telling you i'm already thinking of a couple of different lads that we can utilize this torso with it's going to be so good. These boots, it does have the same high, tall finish as we did see with the Elite. Here's an Elite, and I'm going to go ahead and take the shirt off so you guys can see that new Ultimate Edition uh, torso up alongside the new one. So I'm going to pop the left off. Come on. I know you're in there. Come on. We're going to break it. Potentially, you might break it, so be careful. Don't do what WHF does because we're doing it on the fly. And the reason we're doing it on the fly because it's more fun. Think about it. If I didn't do it, uh-oh, we got a mistake. We got a problem. Now, Instead of it actually popping off, look what ended up happening. <laughs> the whole damn arm actually popped off the damn figure. Look at that. Oh, it does go back in there pretty smooth, but that was a struggle, you guys. That was really in there. So there are benefits with not having Velcro, but at the end of the day, yeah, dude, we still need it. Sometimes you still need it. I mean, when you're doing figure reviews, you need it. When you're doing, like, actual posing of your figure and you want it to look all beautiful, such as this scan, then we don't need it. Now, interchanging hands, you will get mic open on the figure itself. You will also have a close fist if you want a fister, or you can do a full-on open if you want to pinchy the cheeky cheekies. And don't do any of that, you guys, because Sammy would be like, what are you doing? Why the hell are we pinching and fisting when we should be doing 
WHF figure reviews. <laughs> I love this head scan, you guys. This looks insane. Like posing him, like just envision him, right? He just won Mania. He's like, no, man, we are being replaced by the ultimate. And dude, how do you not though? Like this Daniel Bryan torso, this should have been like canceled, I don't know, five years ago. This is outdated. They use it on a lot of figures, and I don't see the reason as to why they used it on a Sammy. I mean, prior to this, yes, this is great. I love this. I do think that this is actually bringing the correct proportions, but in Elite, I do think that something would have been brought some better had they chosen a different look. And you will get the butterfly. You will also get the pinless on all that love, man. The shirt, too, I got to say, like, it off. I like it, man. Really nice. I do like, like, at the end of the day, it looks a lot better, like, not having that stupid Velcro, especially when you're doing designs on the back. I feel like it would take away from it. Now, for the rest of the actual pants, you're going to get solid black. You're going to get the Sami Zayn scratch logo, but it's going to have, like, that scratched up beat up, and then you got a signature logo right there. You got pockets, too. It is utilizing the same sculpt right there as the Elite 2. So, again, at the end of the day, nothing new. The main difference that you're going to notice about this figure is... It's going to be the way that it was executed right there with the torso. I'm going to go ahead and put on the final scan, even though that one was kind of like, what are you doing, bro? Why are we even putting that one on there? So happy scan. Good. We checked it out. And this is like the plane. Don't want to do anything. I'm just going to sit in the backstage and cry because I didn't win. But Sammy's been a winner. So I don't think that even applies to the lad. And that's probably the worst expression that you could give especially when you're talking about no i'm kidding bro you got to have all three of them you got to have the happy you got to have this screaming one and this is going to be the winner that's going to make it sit really nice right there in the overall whf figgy ranking i got to give him a 9.3 there is so much good stuff going right there for Sami Zayn. next up we're going to go ahead and do up dom dom yes you guys have been patiently waiting a lot of people were actually really excited for this figure, even though we did get something almost identical to what we are seeing. It is going to be a darker tint on the actual gear. So this is the very first Dominic release. Now, that's one thing that you're going to notice. It's like, wait, they gave us the purple on the tights. We had the purple on the tights before. It's a darker. It is a darker, but really nothing significant to where it kind of leaves you hanging like, bro, it's going to be the actual like fabric goods. I do think that this whole like bandana and glasses, dude, this is really Really nice. I'll go ahead and put him to the side right there. But I'm going to go ahead and show you because you are going to get the actual tattoo hands right there with it. So you get the mic open on the figure itself. And then you will get all the tattoos on the closed fist if you want a fist. I'm going to go ahead and show you both because it is two different styles of tattoos on the figure. So on the right side right there, we'll get all that logo on the actual knuckles. Now let's check out the figure because the figure itself, this is where the fabric goods are going to be bringing something very special. The glasses, the bandana, you can actually remove all of this. It's pretty much just being like hung onto the actual surrounding of the scan. Once you do pop it off, you guys, you're going to see Dominic in a whole new way. And I'm going to tell you, I don't know, I'd like that last one was great. I do like it, but this one... It kind of almost has like that Undertaker teardrop. Look at this. I think this might be just like a little QC, but if you look underneath the left eye right there on the newer one, it kind of has like a Undertaker teardrop. Again, I don't know if it, you know, WHF, he did it on wrong, did he? I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. You guys got to go in the comments, bro. I don't feel like the man went that G until he came up here with this shirt. Look at this shirt too. This is great, man. It's all being brought together right there by the front. And I do want to take it off. That way you guys can see exactly as to how he's going to compare right there with that last elite. So pop that off. And you can only do it up Bato style with it all. So you do it up right here. And then it's got that opening. You can't buckle it or you can't actually like Velcro it on the bottom. It's just got straight up Bato right there from the bottom up. Now the shirt. Oh my gosh, you guys. They did Dom Dom wrong, wrong. And I do understand that this figure is designed to be displayed with the shirt off, but they went halvesies on you. Like, and when I say halvesies, look at this. What are we seeing right now? Someone explain to me. Like, I, <laughs> what the, oh my gosh, well, I'll pop the hands back in there so you guys can get the full like view and perspective of what we're talking about. But if you guys saw that, you saw it right. This right here. I don't think it's a QC issue. It's actually like a straight up, didn't do the logo design. I'm playing you, bro. They got you on the DM on the back. Again, this is based off promo, so that's the reason why it's a solid black shirt. But I'm going to tell you, if you didn't pick this one up and you actually end up 
having him in here in an actual match. Like, I do understand that sometimes he did wrestle with the t-shirt on, but at the end of the day, bro, they weren't halfsies. Huh? <laughs> I don't care what you say. You can tell me different, but they went straight halfsies if you want to have his actual full in-ring gear with it. And again, the kick pads on the very first one, I do like the look on those better. This actually did have line work. This one doesn't. So again, halfsies beyond belief. And again, <laughs> yes, I got to give this man an eight. Six. I think that's still pretty nice. I don't want to take anything away from it, but one thing that we do got to take away is uh, Kevin Owens. What do you have underneath that shirt? Because uh, last I checked, not only was it like uh, halvesies, <laughs> but yes, halvesies even for KO. Once I take off the shirt, it's going to make all the sense. What doesn't make sense? I want to show you some real quick. So here's Sami Zayn, right? Sami Zayn is about six foot one. Kevin Owens. He's six foot. How do you get uh point what is it? One inch. <laughs> this is a one inch difference according to Mattel. So we got Kane against KO. And I do get it. I think the reason why as to why he ended up coming so short, I think it's because of the actual same mold that we've seen in his prior elite. So I'm gonna go to bring it up and kind of show you what we're talking about. Now, as far as like accessories, this came with so much. So yes. We got the tag belts, but you also got a full-on closed fist, right? We got the mic open on the figure. We got closed fist strapped up, and we also got the slappy mix slap. So we got both of them. We got full-on open, and we got closed fist, and then we got mic open right there on the figure. So, again, quite a bit. And then the head scans, too. These are going to be fun to play around with, like putting this on other Kevin Owens figures. This is one thing that I love right here when it comes to the Ultimate Editions. Like, not only are you getting upgrades right there of what we've seen in the figure, but you also get to upgrade your other figures. So they are a little bit more pricey, but you're definitely turning up your action figure display with all the options. Now, mine, dude got cracked open right there, but he just didn't bleed. He's like, nah, bro, that's a... QC issue, without a doubt. Now, I know Dom Dom, that whole teardrop, yeah, that was probably it. But this, this ain't no uh, this ain't no teardrop. <laughs> and this ain't no blood either. It's just straight up QC right there at its finest. Now, the shirt too, it is being brought together by basically in its entirety. There is no Velcro on this. The best way to go about it too is to pop those arms off, man. You're going to get the best benefit to find out as to what we got going on with the actual torso man and you guys aren't going to be happy i can tell you this right now for those that were kind of considering because you guys know we love making like ultimate edition customs but who the hell are you going to make i do i still have a couple of different lads and again turn on that noti you guys got to go come check this out but i'm going to do some upgrades without a doubt just this is a solid black shirt dude so if you were planning on having like a you know shirtless theme ko don't do shirtless you don't even do it shirtless when he is shirtless does that make sense no it doesn't <laughs> Now, the Elites, traditionally, it was a rubber shirt, which it worked right for its time, but this is Ultimate Edition. We need the cloth. We need the fabric goods. Scale 2, the Elite right there, it's actually pretty much identical, and traditionally, like going back to really any Ultimate Edition figure, the UEs are technically taller. So, again, some definitely questions, some big questions that were just kind of left right there with the figure. I got to give him an 8, man. I feel like if I gave him anything higher, I do want to make maybe just an idea, but think about this, right? We're going to put a vest on this, like a shield vest, and then I'm going to pop these off. You know what? You guys got to turn on that noti, bro. You guys are going to love what we're going to do with it. I feel like anybody that's a mark for WWE figures, the future fix-ups and potentials with these, mwah, we love it. So we covered all these. We still got to cover right here, our new champ. And this is right here. Where Seth Rollins, he gets dethroned. And I don't think he's going to like this. But you know what? It don't matter if he's not going to like this. We got to put the title on the lad. And we got to show him right here. Oh, man. That's, that looks beautiful. Let's put it around the waist. Let's see how it fits. I feel like that would be the only way if, you know, whether or not Seth Rollins is going to be a pickup. Yes. To confirm right here, you saw it first on the WHF channel. The Yeah. The belt fits perfect. I feel like this looks right. I feel like it's long overdue. And I feel like we got some interchanging hands. So we got closed fist on the figure. And then we got mic open that we can swap out with it. Now, as far as the shirt underneath it, that's kind of where it all stops. All the action, it's just kind of left behind you guys. So huge drawback right there as far as what they did do. And I will go ahead and cover it, but I'm going to go ahead and show it to you right there with it on. So we get that traditional. I do believe that. Finn Balor did bring like the same style of uh, shirt right there with the judgment. Now this one is Velcro, 
which since it is an elite figure, and since you do have this massive hair piece right there, kind of covering the Velcro, it really doesn't take anything away. I don't like the regular, just plain look. Like, I do like the upgrades, like the whole hair piece and the way the beard is coming through. It looks great, but give the man a damn expression. I mean, the guy just won the dumb damn belt. You would think, right? I'm just saying. <laughs> now, with it on, you can actually also put it on the shoulder. I think that looks pretty good, too. Look at that. Oh, my gosh, bro. This looks so freaking good. I love this, man. This figure, solid. Now, the torso. This is my drawback, right? Accurate, right? All the studs, all the designs, all that tooling. It is very much there. But the biggest problem, though, you guys, it's, uh, I don't know, it's a little bit small, right? He's about six foot seven, six foot eight. He's a tall guy. The legs are nice and big, but that torso, when you have them proportioned, especially with how low the scan is kind of sitting, how big the head scan is bigger than really traditionally any other Damien Priest figure that we've gotten, dude. Like, check this out. Here is my, uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it substitute, right? This one was kind of like my judgment day. I ended up using, honestly, I don't even know. Go in the comments, you guys. I know we ended up doing this fix-up well over a year, year ago to kind of fill in that void. But, bro, these tights are insane. There is so much tooling. The sculpt on these, I like how they did the knee pads right here and the actual pads for the upper thighs. They do have a nice little mix mash with it. And then the rest, it's all actually tooling, even down to the actual boots. Not the actual bottom part of it, but like around the actual ankle portion of it. And this is so nice. I and mean, there's the logo, the Judgment Day logo on the left side. And then on the right side, there's Damien Priest logo. So you got to bring the two, you got to bring the bad, you got to bring the good, and you got to bring the bad and the good all together to get one of the best Damien Priest figures. I'm giving him, what do you guys think? Like, uh, 8.9 i think that would be really good again it's going to be mainly that torso that's going to be taken away from it now check this out we have the very first promo and not really much to cover when it comes to this figure i mean we've seen a whole lot of different suited figures in our figure display but it's got to be the accessory a lot of people did not actually end up picking uh what was it the ring play set for the last one so this is going to be perfect nonetheless we got some uh interchanging hands so we got closed fist that you can put on here and he's getting a lot I mean, I feel like he's getting more interchanging hands in this Elite than he actually did get right there with the Ultimate Edition. So pretty cool. We got several pointy hands. We got several mic open, several close fists. So I guess you're only going to get a close fist if you get the damn Elite. Only bad problem is that it doesn't have the actual taping of that. So I guess that's where the last Ultimate Edition wins. But yes, check out this chair, you guys. So if you guys didn't pick up the Raw ring or the SmackDown ring... This right here, it's kind of what you were missing out, and I could be wrong. No, 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 take that. Goldberg, the Goldberg ring, that's dating back all the way to the way, way back. I'm pretty sure that one also included this padding right here on the chair. So this is going to be based off, like, right there, a commentary ringside. It is on a little tiny, well, yeah, it's got some wheels you can roll. No, you can't. It doesn't have any wheels. It only has the look of wheels, but you can spin that right there, and... You can perfectly put Cody Rhodes on there. Before I do, I want to show you the back right there. I do like the jacket piece, you guys. This is something brand new that we are getting with Cody Rhodes. Like, they've brought something similar, but this one right here, it's bringing more of that authenticity to what Cody Rhodes. I know a lot of people were using the Ultimate Warrior for kind of like substituting that look until we got this figure, but you don't got to do it anymore, man. Discount code HERO at WrestlingFigures.com, and that looks great. Like, look at that. Him sitting there by ringside, this suited look, bro, this is doing so good. I know it's just a plain suited look, but I'm still giving this figure an even 9.2, man. I love it. I like the accessories, and I also like right here, Bailey, our new women's champion. This would have been cool had they brought, the, I know she's not champion yet, but they could have done a little predicament, right? But then you would have had everybody like, dude, how did Mattel know? That we were going to have Bailey as champ. I'm going to tell you how they knew, right? They had two different options for the hands. So you got the ones pointing. You got R, V, D, or Bailey, Or you got Mike open to throw down that epic promo for the way to road to wrestle me. I love this shirt too, you guys. Look at that. We got all the ladies being brought right here on it. And then if you do pull it up, it is going to be using a similar, yes, it's, it's very, very identical to the very first, actually, very first with the crap on my, dude, this is like the 10th, 15th Bailey Elite. No, 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 not an Elite. If you accumulate all the basics and Elites, this one right here, 
same tooling on the actual top piece. So obviously different colors. We got the blue over here. We got the red and we got the soccer hair mom gone. And we got this beautiful long piece. And I like the way that it does split right there down the middle. I feel like this. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like this Bailey. How does she not replace right there in my figgy display? Look at that. We got damage control logo. Got the solid red. We got the whole pinstripe going down. No tooling on the actual tights. But... I get it. I feel like most of the budget had to go into like, you know, the actual shirt piece, the actual like, what do you guys call these? Like overall suspender? Yeah, suspenders. So I feel like these suspenders took away right there from the budget. Now the backside, I feel like they're not doing Bailey justice. Like if you guys have been watching Bailey the last couple of years, she got thick, bro. We're not seeing it on the back, but you know what? I'll still go ahead and leave that. And I think that's where most of the points are going to be taken away from Bailey. I still got to give her, what do you guys think, like an 8-7? I think that's pretty good. Shinsuke Nakamura, here is the one everybody was waiting for. Interchanging hands, we got a signature post. We got Mike open, and we got a signature post on it. So technically, on the figure itself, you guys, you got it all covered. You got Shinsuke Nakamura, the king. Of strong style. Dude, this jacket, oh man, this is going to be a tough one. Like, part of me knows that once it comes off, it ain't never, ever going back on the, how good. Like, once you get it in the pack, okay, I love it. I'm, if I'm going to display it, this looks great. But if I'm going to play with it, I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to go ahead and to pull that off. And then it's going to take away from the actual entrance piece of it all. Now, the actual gear it is same tooling as we have seen right there in prior figures. I got the blue gear right here for you, for you guys who were wondering, like, yeah, I see that. The only problem is, is that uh, it's a different color, right? So we got the blue over here. We got the black and white. And I do like the skin on this, you guys. This is a very nice Shinsuke Nakamura updated. Good job, Mattel. They are really stepping in here. Let's take this off so that way you guys can see the goody goods underneath. Mr. Nakamura, let's unveil it to the WHF Figgy public because this is going to wrap literally around his arms, his biceps, shoulders. You name it, he got it. And I do think that Shinsuke Nakamura will sit as a ranking probably, I don't know, what do you guys think? Maybe number three, number four. We got to pull all of them up, you guys. We got to see how they're actually all ranking up here in the set. The gear itself, again, nothing new. It has got a new style of scan right there as far as the expression and the true FX look. But right here, ranking number one, I want to do the ultimates first. Got to give it to right here, Cody Rhodes. This one is on back order. You guys want to pick it up? I, I would not sleep on this one. I, every Cody Rhodes that they've released here in the last couple of years, oh my gosh, you guys, second market, jacked up. So definitely would not sleep on it. Ranking number two, I got to give it to Sammy. That screaming scan looks so good. Kevin Owens. Look at this. <laughs> we got the Brothers of Destruction. Like, when you put them up alongside one another, like, look how cool. Oh, my gosh, this makes no sense. But, yes, getting into the Elite set, I got to give it ranking number one. We got to give it to, dude, this Cody Rhodes, this right here, this suited body. Yeah, ranking number two. <laughs> ranking number one, getting into the nitty-gritty. I got to give it to Damian Priest. This figure, great stuff, great stuff. And at the end of the day, Great stuff. <laughs> Bailey, we got to give it to her next. Now, Rollins, he would sit higher, but again, I feel like the just the color on it, it's dull, bro. The scan, like, yeah, I mean, he would have sat higher without a doubt. Like, I feel like the belt is what's really saving the figure, and it's really going to save Damian Priest right here in future picks, man. That's going to look so good. Next up, I got to give it to Dom Dom. I know that this is the way that he's supposed to come, but I don't know, man. You ask me, it's still have these. <laughs> Give me your thoughts, though. Let me know what you guys think of the series. You guys plan on picking any of these up? What are your favorite figures from Elite Series 109? What's your favorite figure from Ultimate Edition Series 21? Great figures. If you guys want to pick any of these up, hit the link in the description below. Discount code HERO is going to save you 10% on the American Nightmare. Whoa!